Hey guys, welcome back to Juan Motivates. Yo, man, to my to my returning subscribers, man, I want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, thank you for showing the constant support. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You know who you guys are, man. Y'all always hit me up with comments. Um, or y'all hit my Instagram up and y'all DM me. And, and as y'all know, man, y'all gotta, gotta let them know, man, that I'm there for you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? If you ever DM me in an um, Instagram video and, or Instagram, and um, not a video, but an Instagram message, Y'all know I get back to you. Y'all know I get. I try to help you guys as much as I can because I want you to succeed. I want you to do and make the best decision possible for you. You know what I'm saying? Not just for you. I want you to make the best decision for you and your family in the future. I don't want you to get into a career that you feel like, man, I messed up. I want you to get all the inside details on why you're choosing this career, why you're choosing radiology, why you're choosing nursing, why you're choosing whatever you feel like choosing. Let me know, DM me your videos on Instagram or DM me your questions on Instagram at jreacts863. I help you. Y'all know I do. So y'all let them they let them know in the comments, man. Be like, hey, man, he's really about that life, man. You know what I'm saying? He be helping us out. But anyway, guys, uh, for the new subscribers that come in here, I need for the new, not subscribers, the new people that come on my videos, I want you to please consider subscribing to my channel. Go down there. At that, at that little red, at that button still red, y'all need to click it, man. Make it gray. Go ahead and like this video. Hit the notification bell because you're going to come back, man. I drop... If you, if you leave a comment, I drop none but the best information and and true information. I don't sugarcoat anything. I try to give it to you 100, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want you to sit there and be like, oh, he sugarcoated all that. You know, like, no, it's nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I try to give you, like, a true um, information on what you're asking me or what, you know, the topic is about that day, right? So, anyway, today, man, I want to talk to you guys. I get a lot of comments about A1 is radiology hard or A1, can you go to can you go to school and still have time for you? Or A1, man, I I work full time and you know I, st I really want to be in radiology. Or um, A1, I mean, what was it? What, could, how did you do it in school? Or were you you must have been super smart that you went to school and you did it like you know? So first off, you know, no, <laughs> none of that. I'm not smart. I just I'm a just I'm just a go getter, bro. That's it. That's all I can say about myself. I'm a go getter. If I want something, I'm going to make it happen. No questions asked. I don't sit there and ask anything for any favors for anybody. Like if I want to do something, I'm going to make it happen. For instance, like right now, I want to be in barber. I'm in, bar I'm in barber school. Like that's my goal. I want to be my own boss. I want to do this. I want to see what happens, right? My schedule when I was working in radiology, I was working Monday through Thursday. 10 hour shifts, all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Who wouldn't like that? You know what I'm saying? Like that was... Such an awesome schedule, awesome, you know, place to work at. But then I was going to school. I was working and, and I'm still working. Don't get me wrong, but I'm working for somebody else. I'm working. I have to be there. I'm working with people that, you know, sometimes you're not always going to like. I work with people that have to clock in and, and, and be like, oh, you're two, you're one minute late. But, you know, but they don't see the fact that I'm always there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, hey, Juan, go do this extra. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Juan, go to the OR. I need a case. Yes, ma'am. They don't see that. But if you're one minute late, you have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to build my own, my own company, my own thing. And that's why I'm sacrificing my weekends. So now I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I go to school. I mean, I, I now go to school Monday through Thursday for a barber because I'm building that. So that's something that a lot of you guys have to understand. Like, if you want something, go do it. Stop procrastinating. If this is what you really want to do now, don't just be like, oh, well, um, I kind of want to do radiology. I kind of want to be in the medical field. I kind of want to do nursing. If you kind of want to do it, then it's not for you. But if you really, really feel like, you know what? That'd be an awesome career. I want to go do radiology. I want to go learn CT. I want to go learn MRI. I want to be a nurse. I want to go continue to be a nurse practitioner. I want to go be a, pay, uh, a physical therapy assistant. Whatever you choose, you have to sacrifice to get there, man. That's it. That's all I can tell you guys. You have to sacrifice. You have to want to make it and you have to want to do it. You know, that's it. That's the bottom line. If if that means, hey, I can't, I can't chill with you today, man. I got to study for my test. You know, um, um, I, I can't, you know, I, I'll catch you next week. If it's that, then it's that. Hey, I can't go. Hey, baby girl, I can't go to your birthday party today. Daddy can't take you to go to the movies today because I'm, I'm working towards... You know, you gonna tell them in debt, but you be like, hey, I'm working towards my future. Uh, I'm working towards our future to give you a better life. I can't do that right now. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice something to get to where you want to be. 
But in the end, it'll be worth it, man. That's the thing. It'll be worth it. Don't ever go into a career or go into something and always wonder, am I going to make it? Am I going to fail? I'm scared to fail. I'm scared. Like, no, because as soon as you put that in your brain and your mind, you're already done. You're already failed. You are... Life isn't easy, man. Anything that you want to do is not going to be easy. You're going to have to put in work. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to miss out on stuff. That's just life in general. But when you get to that point, man, you're like, okay, I sacrificed everything, but look look at me now. You know what I'm saying? I have a career. I make good money. I do this. I do that. I provide for my family. We go on trips. I got a new car. I got this, whatever. Whatever your motivation is, you you need that during school. You need that to to fuel you to be like, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. You have to have that, man. It doesn't matter. If it like me, like I I'm not the smartest kid, dude. I had to sit there and study and study and study for hours. These right here are my best friend. Flashcards. I will write the def I will write the word and the definition in the back, and I will learn. I would just flip cards like this all day. Just flip. That's what I would do. Did I pass everything perfectly? No, man. I passed my radiology test with a 76. You need a 75. I passed my CT registry with a 75. You need a 75. But I got it done. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point. You got it done. So for you guys that are procrastinating on there, be like, oh, I don't know. Am I smart enough? Um, you know, just do it. Do it and don't be scared of what people think. That's the number one killer, man, is... People care what other people think. If you say, if you take that out of your mind and you stop caring what people think, your life will automatically change because now you're only focusing on you and your goals and what you want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? So anything you want to do, man, just go and you do it, man. Just make the time. Like I said, it's going to hurt. It is. I'm sacrificing my weekends. It sucks that my kids are home on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I have to work. But at the same time, they know, and I tell them that they know that I'm trying to build something. I'm going to go be a barber. I'm going to go cut hair. But at the, but at the, end, at the end of that, I made my own schedule. Dad, I have, a, I have a concert today on Friday or Saturday. Can you make it? Yes, I'll be there. You know why? Because I made my own schedule. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my drive. That's why I want to do it. You know, I like, I, like I like to help people. Like, I like to help you guys you know, reach your goal, do what you got to do. I, 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 that's what I want to do for a barber. I want to reach people in a different way, not just patient care, not just doing x-rays, whatever. This is my calling and I'm going to get there. So you have to find your calling and you have to do everything it takes to get there. Yo guys, I hope this video helped you, man. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down there. You already know I'll get back to them. Till the next one.